Hey guys, and welcome to the second episode of Quinsights. Today, I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, the newly launched Intel Optane memory, or the technology that's behind it called 3D XPoint. Intel's been talking about 3D XPoint for, I think, the last three to four years. And it's supposed to be a technology which is going to revolutionize storage because uh, current hard disk based storage has its well inherent flaws, but current uh, NAND based storage as we have in our SSDs also have, has its flaws. Also, Intel, it, one of their goals was to accelerate storage performance even further than uh, SSDs and NVMe SSDs have already done. And they basically wanted to create a product which was closer to memory, but without the caveats that normal system memory has, such as losing its data when it gets disconnected from power. So to do that, they launched two products uh, now. One is called Intel Optane, and it's uh, for desktop and laptop usage. And the other one is uh, the uh, 3800DC SSD for enterprise usage. So, talking about the Optane first, for us enthusiast users, I don't think it's going to be really interesting, or at least not for what Intel has, uh, well, has made it its intended purpose. I think about four or five years ago, Intel introduced SRT, which was a way that you could use their BIOS RAID driver, basically, to add a caching SSD to your hard disk. So you'd have the benefits of have, having fast access times and stuff like that for the programs and data you use most, but you'd still have the large storage volume of a hard disk. And well, at the time the technology made sense, it never really took off and uh, I thought it died a slow death. But using Optane, Intel's base basically revived SRT, or at least they think they have. Um, you can buy an Optane NVMe M2 stick uh, of six 16 or 32 gigs. And when you meet all the limitations, such as you can only have one hard drive, it cannot be a RAID array, it has to be your system drive, etc., you can use Intel SRT to use it as a cache drive again to accelerate Windows boot up and uh, certain programs you use, stuff like that. But I just built a two terabyte SSD only new system. So why would I do that? Well, it's not meant for that. Uh, Intel wants to introduce the technology and specifically wants, I think it wants the world to get used to what it can do and bring and what the differences are with uh, NAND or flash based storage, um, but not in the consumer market just yet. What this is going to be good for is those awfully slow 4500 uh, 45, 55, 5400 RPM, one or two terabyte disks you get with cheap laptops. In those, you can also add an Optane if you have the right chipset, and then I can see a use for it because adding SSD storage to the laptop would be more expensive than using Optane storage, and the user would have a better experience. So, I guess I can see the use case in that. Uh, on the data center side, they introduced the 3800 DC, which is also an Optane drive, but it comes in much larger variants. But it also has a much higher price tag. So, eh, not really sure where they're, what they're trying to do with that. But I have my own uh, insight or thoughts about this. So I was thinking, how could we use Optane or uh, the 3800 DC or basically 3D XPoint in current situations because it's it's basically a small SSD. Your desktop isn't really going to see much difference or speed improvement using it over 
a traditional SSD or at least an, a good NVMe SSD. So I was thinking, currently I have a 20 terabyte ZFS server and I use SSD cache for that. But looking at Optane and 3D Xpoint, um, the, the cache gets a lot of writes because it gets a lot of data through it that it wants to hold. And uh, that's talking about an L2 ARC read cache. One thing Optane or 3D Xpoint excels at is handling a lot of writes without wearing down as fast as normal NAND does. So that's good. And also its access times are even a lot faster than the fastest NAND-based uh, NVMe drive. So, as it looks right now to me, it would make the optimal caching drive. Especially because, if I understand all the technical documents correctly, normal uh, NAND-based SSDs or NVMe drives have uh, memory buffers inside of them to buffer all reads and writes before it goes to the actual NAND. Because of the way it works, a NAND SSD has to do an erase cycle before it can write to the flash. 3D Xpoint doesn't have that limitation, so they don't need a buffer in RAM, which inherently makes the uh, Optane or 3D Xpoint technology safer. Because right now, if your computer writes something to your SSD, and it's in the memory buffer, and at that point the, your power cuts out, your data is lost. Your disk might be corrupt, or at least your file system might be corrupt, but you have the potential to lose data. But from a 3D Xpoint NVMe drive or an Optane module, since it has no buffer, once Windows writes something, it's actually written. And since it's non-volatile, so it doesn't get uh, lost when power gets disconnected, it stays. So that would make an ideal L2 arc, especially because of its latency, and maybe even a ZIL so it could function as write cache. Because again, if the power would cut out, it would still be safe. So, it's just a bit of my rambling and thoughts in my head, and I'm interested to see what the technology does now, but it, it'll be really interesting to see how this progresses and well, how, well, how everything will look in five years from now. Because right now, I think it's a nice, uh, I guess, gimmick, you could say, um, but it does have some real potential in changing the way storage and memory works. And that is the real goal Intel has. So, um, that's it for this Quinsight. Uh, let me know what you think. And let me know if you think Optane in its current form is, is useless or useful or what scenario would be good with it. And we'll have to wait until the first tests show out, but those will be interesting. And... Um, yeah, if Intel's watching, hey, if you could, you know, send me one of, one of those 3800 DC drives, I'd, uh, I'd like to test that out. <laughs> so, thanks for watching, and I uh, hope you like my rambling on video. And let me know in the comments below what you think. So, see you next time. Bye-bye.